Okay, I have, uh, I have one. I have some comments uh, to make this evening relative to Mr. Olson's motion last week regarding a certain escrow relief release that has resulted in citizen concerns we've heard. Uh, I'm also cognizant and acknowledge the legitimate concerns expressed by other members of this board who plainly expressed their reservations about the process we utilized to entertain and vote on this particular motion. While I can't speak for Mr. Olson, who wasn't able to be present this evening, I believe all here tonight would, at the very minimum, acknowledge that the process we utilized, and that I as chair utilized, was less than perfect. That given the emotion surrounding this long-standing issue over that particular proposed path in our township, and for that matter, the broader policy issues surrounding the application of our subdivision and land development ordinance with respect to sidewalks and paths in the broader sense, I could have done a better job. That is, uh, we, and I as chairman in particular, could have insisted on more time for public comment, or as Ms. Kickline suggested, tabled the motion to allow more stakeholders on this issue the opportunity to have spoken their views before final board action. I as chairman, and we as a board, do intend to learn from the lessons of this decision, and we will work to avoid these problems in the future. As individuals on this board, some of us have already begun discussions uh, about a way forward that ensures we can resolve issues such as this in a more systematic and consensus building manner than was demonstrated with the St. David's application. Um, I began some of those discussions myself today with uh, the chairman of the planning commission and, uh, um, and we look forward to achieving this goal. Well, I hope uh, these comments may help to reduce some of the tensions over this matter uh, and we can move forward in a positive manner starting this evening. I certainly understand that many may still wish to comment and uh, unless there are other board member comments, I would welcome those comments uh, now. Mr. Chairman, I would like to just say a few words. Uh, I agree with what you're saying um, and your sentiments. I just want to say that as a new guy on board, I should have agreed to a delay on that last uh, vote. I agree with, uh, I've spoken with a lot of people since the vote and uh, sentiments that I shared with people on the phone were that uh, there was no rush, there didn't need to be a rush on that particular vote. It could have been put on the agenda. And for my part, I will do my best to make sure that uh, the style in which that was approved won't happen again. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, um, my turn as well. Uh, I'd like to echo what uh, EJ said and especially what Bob said. Um, you know, we've given a lot of thought of, uh, to this. Uh, clearly, um, no one's perfect. And in hindsight, uh, you know, I agree that the process could have been much better. Uh, I think the, the motion to table is something that I personally should have considered much more seriously uh, and uh, publishing it in advance on an agenda is, is something that should have been done. Um, I do think the idea that you know, we can learn from this is one that I take seriously and that as we move forward uh, as a board and as multiple boards and as a community. Uh, I'm committed to uh, uh, to implementing the lessons that uh, that EJ and and Bob have described, and I've tried to myself. Uh. Thank you, Warren. Other board member comments, related or unrelated? Okay, hearing none, uh, we'll open it up for any citizen comments. Rail Jamison, I live at 200 Lafayette Lane. Um, when I last spoke at the Board of Supervisors meeting, I think I may not have identified myself clearly enough. So tonight I would like, in the interest of full disclosure, to state that I am the newly elected chairperson of the Tredifferent Township Democratic Committee. Um, as such, if the committee takes a resolution and needs a group position stated, I will do that. But normally when I speak, I'm speaking as a resident of Tredifferent Township, which I'd like to do right now. 
Um, first, I'd like to observe the apology that I think has been given tonight. And while I think that was the right thing to do and welcome, I did not hear anything indicating that last week or last meeting's actions were undone. So unless somebody can tell me otherwise, I believe the funds have still been released from escrow, which is egregious. But anyway, I'd like to describe several instances in which opinions of Democrats or other people who disagree with the positions have been summarily disparaged or dismissed by Supervisors Olson and Lamina, and I can only regret Mr. Olson isn't here tonight to hear what I have to say personally. I'll carry the message to him. Sure. I'm sure you will. Thank you. Um, I think the actions of you and Mr. Olson have appeared to be meant to be intimidating. And I'm not a lawyer, but I think a lawyer might describe the actions I'm going to describe here as acts of prior restraint. First of all, in the supervisors' meeting last week in which I spoke in objection to the motion to release the escrow funds, when I finished while I was sitting down, Mr. Olson leaned over to Mr. Lamina and said, she's a Democrat. Now, I didn't notice that because I was sitting down, but people who watch the program on TV called me the next morning to say, well, I guess your comments didn't carry a lot of weight. Another resident of the township, Debbie Watson, wrote a letter to the Board of Supervisors using the BOS at Perdifferent.org mailbox, again voicing objection to the motion that had been passed at the last meeting. Through a leak of the email, we learned that Mr. Lamina forwarded her email to the township manager and the rest of the supervisors with a note that said, thanks, data point only, Deborah and her husband Raymond are both active on the Democratic Party team. Supervisors Kickline and De Bonaventuro called Mrs. Watson to apologize, but as of Sunday, Mrs. Watson had not heard a substantive response to the issue she raised. In an article published last Friday in the Daily Local newspaper, Mr. Olson is quoted as saying, only Democrats are concerned with the St. David's deal, and Mr. Lamina was noted as concurring. As I think all of you can see from the reaction that came to the motion passed at the last board meeting. It was not only Democrats who were concerned about went on there last night. There were three Republican supervisors and a Republican head of the Planning Commission who spoke eloquently. Second, but more important, the party affiliation of the person or speaker or writing shouldn't be an issue. So the dismissiveness of things as being only of concern to Democrats is not productive, at least if you care about public opinion and I like to think your apology tonight indicates you do. Last, during the discussions about cuts to funding for our volunteer fire companies, there was a lengthy As I See It piece written by Mr. Lamina in the December 9th Suburban. In this piece, Mr. Lamina was highly critical of Eamon Verzunas, the fire company spokesperson. He wrote, I believe the fire company might strongly consider a different spokesperson to advocate their view before the board in the future. As most of you must know, Mr. Brzezunas is a Democrat who had the temerity to run as candidate for supervisor. It would be useful, I suppose, if Mr. Lamina didn't propose to limit comment on issues to only those people whose party affiliation or views he thinks are acceptable. We use political parties to get affected. That's the way democracy works in America. But a functioning democracy assumes that once a person takes the oath of office, they're expected to represent all of the people, not just those who voted for them or contributed to them. I think the actions that I've described indicate that possibly supervisors Olson and Lamina seem to think they can discourage opposition by blatantly showing opposing points of view will be dismissed out of hand or the author of those views will be belittled. We all know that local politics is a partisan business but for different township is still a democracy. Its residents demand respect for and service to all township residents and for the rule of law. I hope that your remarks tonight indicate that you have taken that message to heart, but I would still like to know how we will undo what was done at the last meeting or how we will refund, restore funding that was cut from the fire companies. Thank you.